Let's know. I haven't seen you upset for like 15 years. Be serious, be careful. Yeah. Oh, it's so not I'm just practicing. Are you kidding? No, <laughs> yeah, you're bad. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah. 
So much glorious. I never thought that the devotees will be inspired so much. So many devotees uh, from Swamiji, but they have become they have become so weak. Sometimes, in some, I saw they are so weak that they used to again take opium, gaja, bhan, wine, and other things also. They are really going far away from Swami. They tell that I am disciple of Swami, but actually, not but even that relation, like a very lengthy thread, again Swamiji will anyhow. So again they are inspiring and again they are coming. Now I am realizing. For this, Swamiji ordered me to help his devotees. Automatically, it, everything is going on. I know that I am very... insignificant. I know. Very. Not having no qualities at all. Even Swamiji inspiring all. Everywhere I become one that I am not so much learned one that, but yet all I am inspired. It is due to Swamiji. Nityananda Prabhu Gaur Chandra Radha Krishna Kanji. So and I see that, oh, so much honor coming, so much devotees are inspired. Then I think that this is due to my Guru Dev, my Shiksha Guru Swamiji. And Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur has especially told He has told that so many. Indian devotees and Western devotees, Western devotees meeting together as Shankar and going like Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Hari Bol. Hari Bol. So I, <coughs> I sometimes overwhelm many. 
So I now request Nirvan Prabhu to speak some words. I'm so happy that oh, this Prabhu. Parikshit Maharaj told that uh, that Arishti has not given me gosh, but the mercy of Krishna he has given me. Because here Vashishta, Narad, Vishamitra, Kavi Havi Antari, Chapo, Prabhupada people have. And so many Indian or world famous races at once assembled there. Those who will remain, remember them, they will be purified so, and become so much qualified. It is very rare to take their person. So if anyone remember them, <coughs> Je sang sang smarnat, un sang suddhant vai griha, ki puna sparsan pad saucharsat asanadi. But here I am not remembering. Quickly all has that sin. If anyone taking the feet, uh, washing water, lot of dust of their serving anywhere and hearing that I cannot tell their glories. Krishna will be controlled by them. So I know that you are all very senior and sin sincere devotees of Swami Daisha. It is very rare to see them because to go to India and there I will see it is very hard, very rare. But anyhow, Swamiji is dining here, and all are assembled. So I'm fortunate. And I'm seeing you as the Vaikha, affluence of Swamiji. Oh, those who are my disciples also. All are the affluence of Swamiji. Because due to him, you have come to me. Now I request to Prabhuji to speak I'm, I'm thinking that uh, our Guru Dave, he is the world famous Rishi that has come here. <laughs> and by taking his foot dust, everyone will be eternally fortunate. And I'm uh, most amazed at our fortune that he keeps coming here. Uh, 
uh, and feeling uh, just amazed at our fortune to have a Utama Arikai come to our place as such a, a uh, rare and only by Krishna's direct mercy and Srila Prabhupada's direct mercy has he sent him here. Is the Uttama Adhikari, Uttama is above Tama. Tama is the material world, and he's Uttama, above. So where do we find in this material world everyone engaged in so many things, but where is one who do we find who is actually Uttama, above this? You will not find almost anywhere, nowhere where we find such a personality. <coughs> so... <coughs> and all the followers of Srila Gurudev. I also offer my humble obeisances to, and during this festival, I'm, I'm simply your servant, my family members also. Anything we can do for you, we will be so happy to help you in any way. Um, so, Hare Krishna. <laughs> Regarding sister, Mula Prakriti, I request you to speak to us. It doesn't do so far. Jai Gurudev. We are brother sisters. Well, we've been holding down the fort here. And um, Maharaj has always promised that he would help us transform this uh, patch of land here in America into Vrindavan. So by uh, his association and mercy, he, uh, he will keep doing that. I am praying for your mercy. my life has completely changed since that time. And uh, I like how it's changing. It's so sweet and sometimes the change is very intense. But that's also good for, for me and I think for everyone. And I'm praying for Gurudev's mercy that he continues to bless me so that I can I was thinking that in 
this trip, and this goes up this. Rasha Avila, Bips, Bipila, Bips Prabhu, and his wife. Very horrible. But unfortunate for me. I know he is also very senior and sincere. All have such death from Prabhu. So he has come here and fortunate to meet him. I want that. I request you to stay some little. I'm just very thankful to have been dragged here again by your mercy. Otherwise, the material world is doing its business very expertly, but I feel by the um, mercy of all my gurus and all the Vaishnavas that some hope is still there for me to come. Shula Gurudev for coming here again three years or two years three times and the mercy is ever increasing it seems that you're determined to uh, give us your love and affection and to teach us how to give that to others so on behalf of myself and I'm sure everyone in this community especially Nirguna and Nilachala that we're extending this uh, to everyone here to help you as much and make this as nice of a stay here as possible in New Braja is helping to transform this every year more and more into this place of Vrindavan. Um, Rude, you say that Srila Prabhupada has brought you here and I believe this more than ever. I'm remembering one story that I heard that many, many years ago Srila Prabhupada was in Portland, <coughs> Oregon and in his room one devotee was cleaning his room and he saw a little billfold of Srila Prabhupada's like a wallet and in that wallet this devotee was actually he shouldn't have been doing this but he wanted to peek in there he wanted to see what was in Swamiji's wallet <laughs> and he opened it up and in that wallet he found one piece of paper and it was all folded up I wish I had a piece of paper to show you, but like all folded together, and he carefully unwrapped it. And this piece of paper had been in this wallet a long time. It took the shape of the wallet, you know, curved. And he opened this piece of paper very care carefully, like it was something special. And on that piece of paper, in Srila Prabhupada's handwriting, it said, How to Save the World. <laughs> So I think one of Srila Prabhupada's secret weapons, he had so many, was to bring Srila Narayan Maharaj, our Guru Dave. So this secret weapon is so, so special. Thank you very much, all of you. Hare Krishna. I, I, I thought of something I'd really like to say. Washington, uh, Pennsylvania, New York, Houston, Los Angeles, San Francisco, and now here. And um, the whole trip, I've been thinking uh, that the final goal is Badger. And um, it reminds me of when uh, I was a brahmachari, and they would put us in a van with books and send us out Sometimes we would be out for weeks at a time, traveling from place to place, living in a truck, and uh, selling Prabhupada's books. And uh, it was always a really big event when we would go back to the temple to see Sri Sri Radha Gopi Balaba. He had used the Murthy's, he had 
that uh, Srila Prabhupada was solving in Boston. And it was kind of, there was always like this feeling like we're, we're going back to, back to brunch. And uh, I have that feeling coming here, and I just wanted to thank uh, Prabhupada and Rajwa and all the devotees here for uh, <laughs> Good fortune, and it was only once. The inconceivable good fortune of being in Shiva Prabhupada's quarters in New York once. And he said something, and I took it to mean personally, that we suffer because we've forgotten to bring our love to Krishna. And so many lifetimes, uh, bringing our love or our attachment, as the case may be, to these bodies, to these minds to other bodies, to other minds, to concepts, attached to something, but not knowing, as Prabhupada said, how to direct that loving propensity so that we can be fully satisfied. So, in Malaysia, Srila Gurudev gave a, a wonderful class, which uh, Mulava Kriti Didi kindly brought, and we were able to get the benefit of. And he said, what is it that we need more than anything else? What, what is it we require? And after talking, well, we require food, air, water, because our bodies are made of these things. Then Guru said, but what do we need even more than that? And he said, love and affection. Because our atma, our self, is made of a tiny particle of love and affection. Because Radha and Krishna are all love and affection. So after many births of, of not knowing how to direct that love and affection, causing suffering to ourselves and so many living beings, Srila Prabhupada came, and because we were so new, because I was so new, I caught a little glimpse about the, the power of the conditioning and the power of the mind toward dharma, artha, kama, and moksha were, were a little overwhelming, and there were offenses and so many things. And then Srila Gurudev came, and uh, he brought this, this message of divine love, which is such a precious thing. In that same talk, he said, what a precious thing I am giving you. Just like a mother, he gives the baby the milk, and the baby doesn't know what he's getting. So if the mother's a little late, the baby is angry, or the baby doesn't take it. So what a precious thing we are getting for billions and billions of lifetimes, struggling with our minds and senses, being unfulfilled. And now the pure devotee has again entered into the the horizon of our hearts, with the same message that Srila Prabhupada brought, that you are suffering because you have forgotten to bring your love to Krishna. And he is giving this opportunity to us, but again, there's a responsibility on our part too. In the story that Gurudev tells in the Bhakti Rasayan, there's a peacock, and they're dancing because they're so enamored by the sound of Krishna's flu, they're so grateful. And this peacock thinks, I'm nothing, I have nothing to offer, but I do have this feather. So people think it's beautiful, let me give it to Krishna. And Krishna sees this, and the peacock is watching off in the distance, and Krishna picks up the feather, and, and he puts it on his head. And the peacock is thinking, well, he could have put it in his pocket, he could have put it in his shoes, he could have put... But he put it on the most valuable place. He put it in his head. And, and the peacock was so moved. And, and Gurudev says in the explanation there, that when something is given with bhav, and then it's received with bhav, both parties experience that. So Srila Gurudev is giving us so much. We don't even know. I don't even know the least anyway. But I'm getting a little, little fraction of a glimpse and I pray to him, and to Srila Prabhupada, and to all our acharyas, that we can receive this gift properly, that all the, the misgivings, the fears, the doubts that are caught up in our conditioned hearts can be removed, and we can take his gift with deep appreciation and love, 
And that would be the, the most pleasing thing to Srila Prabhupada, and to all the Acharyas, to Shishi, Nita, Gauranga, and to Radha Krishna. And then we can actually give something to him, our hearts. So I, I beg you that you may allow me to become free from all these anarthas, that I can take what you're giving me with all my heart and soul, and pay my debt to you, to Srila Prabhupada, and begin the real life that you've come to bring to us. Hare Krishna. Hare I had the good fortune of being present with our beloved uh, Srila Prabhupada um, of approximately 26 years ago when he came to another um, re-established dam in the United States called New Vrindavan Dam in West Virginia. And we were also waiting on a similar day as today, a very beautiful sunny day in the beautiful rolling hills of that area for his car to arrive and his Vyasa son was seated underneath a tree and he came. He arrived, all the devotees were so jubilant. And <clears throat> Prabhupada chanted his Jayarad Hamad Vakunjavi Hari Gopi Janda Balulabadi Dharadhari in his most bhavuk way, Rasik and Bhavak. And that festival was titled, was named Bhagavad Dharma Discourses. And uh, there was a very tall hill there, which was very steep, and uh, the festival was to be held on the top of that hill. And there was a similar structure to the one which Nirguna Prabhu erected here last year, open just with uh, <coughs> roof and pillars. And Srila Prabhupada was waiting one day to go up the hill. Usually they would bring him up in this little Volkswagen bug car. And, and then one day that something happened with the car and he was waiting. And he was only standing there. And all the devotees were surrounding him. And he had this most undisturbed look on his face. But the various leaders of that festival were going crazy because they were inconveniencing Prabhupada and making him wait. And one of them came up to him and was apologized. Oh, Prabhupada, we're so sorry, but our car, the car has broken and it's very difficult for us, but we will arrange something. And then Prabhupada said, and he, he was so peaceful and so detached, and he said, I am not disturbed. He said, I have come here for the purpose of giving this Krishna consciousness, and I am simply like a cow. A cow's purpose is to give milk. So, uh, wherever you lead me, I will give milk, no problem. <laughs> and he relieved all of the devotees, distress in this way. So that event was very memorable and, and actually historical. And that Bhagavad Dharma discourse was, in some ways, the beginning of this revolution of uh, Srimad Bhagavatam preaching in the United States. And I truly feel that this gathering here with a divine personality who is also uh, so dearly beloved to Krishna as our Srila Prabhupada was and who is so realized in these truths has mercifully again come to this continent 
and to this very place to bless the devotees, to uplift their hearts and souls, to uh, give them the bhavo shadhi, the, the uh, wonderful uh, medicine which will wipe out this disease of bhava in this material world. And he has come seeking nothing. He has, as Gurudev tells us so many times, the real preachers of the Srimad Bhagavatam travel here and there only with the Srimad Bhagavatam under their arm, not desiring anything. They are nishkinchana. They are not expecting any return for their services, for their preaching. Only thing they are expecting in return is that we will take what they are giving and we will follow that. So again, he is coming to give us this medicine. We are requiring so many installments of this medicine. Our samskara is very low. We have taken birth in a very low condition, but yet somehow we also have this strange mixture of some kind of auspicious sukriti, that we are able to have the association of a Maha Bhagavat Vaishnava, and more than once in this life. But we are hoping that in the course of this life, by this great um, beneficial, beneficial medicine that he has given to us, that we will be able to make some progress and at least come to some platform of nishta where we can truly serve the order of our divine masters and the disciple of succession. So I pray for his causeless mercy, and I pray for the mercy of all the devotees who are also, uh, like Srila Sridhar Maharaj said, like demigods moving on this earth. Go to Premanandi. spoken and I think the devotees have spoken and the ones that haven't spoken all share the same feeling in their heart. It's so happy to be here in the presence of Gurudev. Before I say anything, I want to say one thing that there's one person missing that I have to give some my respects is to Shamarani. Um, I think we all miss her and for some reason she's not here and last year she was here and she was very instrumental in my relationship of meeting Gurudev. So I wanted to say that um, eulogy for her. She's so dear and so so much service to Shri Prabhupada and Gurudev. Um, we're so fortunate, as everyone has said uh, so far, but coming in line with Gurudev, we're so fortunate, extra fortunate. There's many pure devotees throughout the universe. But in our line, <clears throat> just like Ramananda Roy spoke to Mahaprabhu, you can say there was one type of initiation that Mahaprabhu took through Ramananda Roy. So our Guru Dev, Srila Prabhupada, took his sannyas order from Srila Bhakti Pradhyan Kesha Maharaj. He could have went somewhere else, but it's a very special thing. And so in that same way, we're led in that same that same line. It's not by chance that he took in that way. So we're very fortunate to come exactly in that same line, in the same family, dear family of brothers and cousins and fathers. So I wanted to thank Nirguna and his, and his wife and the devotees here for having this festival and Srila Gurudev for coming here. Bhaktivinoda Thakur has written one song Prasara Sika Krupa Maya, that Krishna is very merciful, he is the taster of Ras and he's the giver of Ras. I'm sure we hear so much like that, but being with Gurudev in different parts of the world, it is like one festival. And that Ras is so sweet and nice because he's so kind and so compassionate and merciful that our hearts are being touched and hopefully more of the world will be touched by his sweetness. Yeah. 
inspired me by two words. <laughs> I was thinking, what is Uttam? As far as I know, I don't know Sanskrit so well, but I've been told that Uttam means topmost or best or uh, highly advanced. And I was thinking how to understand the definition of Uttam. What is topmost? And it seems to me the only way we can understand this word Uttam, if we actually look at Shimati Radharani, she is topmost. She is Uttam, 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 Uttam. The definition of Uttam. And who else is Uttam? Is her dear most Saki. And who is so near and dear is Rupa Manjari. So much Uttam. And who is Rupa Manjari but Rupa Goswami? And Rupa Goswami, who also follows Rupa Goswami, all Rupa Nuga, they are Uttam. And my Guru Maharaj, Srila Prabhupada, and my Maharaji, they are Uttam, because they are followers of Rupa Goswami. They are Uttam by this definition. They are real bridge buses. There is no higher glorification than to be a real Vajrasi, a follower of Rupa Goswami. And also I wanted to say one more thing. <laughs> Today is a kind of a special day for me. This is the day that um, I got a material body. It's my material birthday today. <laughs> On your birthday, you're supposed to get so many things. But in the East, they always say you're supposed to give so many things on a birthday. You're supposed to give, not to receive. But there's a problem here. I was thinking, what can I give, what can I give? And then yesterday, Maharaj smashed me. He ruined everything. He reminded me that I have nothing of my own. There is nothing I can give. What can I have nothing? <laughs> Except then he reminded me, but the mercy of my guru. So whatever Srila Prabhupada has given me, which is quite a lot, even though I can't really realize it. So I wanted to give him something connected to Srimati Radharani that my guru has given me. And so it's my real birthday happened on Balaram's appearance day when my Guru Maharaj initiated me. And I was thinking it was a very special day. It was in 1972. And Maharaj just happened, I mean, Prabhupada just happened to be in a very Vrindavan mood. And um, my karmi name was Susan. And I was thinking, oh, I wanted to have a name Vrindavan so bad. And I thought, how I can ever get this name? I've been reading the Krishna book and I just wanted to be named Vrindavan. And so then he was, and I was the last person to get initiated. He gave the name Madan Mohan, Brinda Devi, Vrindavaneshwari. And then he called on me. And I was thinking also, oh, I want to make him laugh. I want to make him happy. So he said, what are the four regulative principles? And I said them. And then I looked up at him and I said, and always remember Krishna and never forget Krishna. And he laughed and he laughed. And he said, your name is Vrindavan Vilasani Devi Dasi. And name for Shimati Radharani, the one who enjoys in Vrindavan. <laughs> I think that on this tour, I've been learning a bit about, just a little bit about Guru. I don't know much of anything. But I do remember that when Shil Prabhupada was on the planet, he always was pushing somehow or another for more and more, whatever you can give, more and more and more. And 
I remember also that when Prabhupada left, that kind of pressure, that kind of, um, um, that sort of lifted. It was more, it was easier to become independent. And, and when, and when Prabhupada left also because of circumstances, he wanted to become more independent because it was so hellish to surrender to temple authorities. And <laughs> so to be independent was actually considered a good thing. It meant that you were evolving in some way. <laughs> but now I'm seeing that, um, taking another step, that to remain independent, when actually there's a wonderful Vaishnav guru, bona fide guru, here to instruct me is that there's a real problem. It, it means again that there's a need to give up all independence and um, make that step back because this guru, Shodharaiman, is very, he's very adept at getting us to move forward more and more and more. Just like the kind of pressure that was on us, that kind of pushing that was in our back to move forward more and more and more when Prabhupada was here. And I'd like to thank you very much, Guru Dave, for allowing us, allowing us to have this association. Kriti was saying that <clears throat> we all know that you um, bless us by saying that Badger, this tiny little village up here, way up in the mountains, that no one ever really was concerned about, and it will become brought new Braj. And um, I would just like to explain to you that this year in New Braj, <laughs> we've um, been waiting the whole year. Just waiting. Um, very few activities went on outside of our households. Um, so many things. Uh, no more festivals. Um, it was very, very cold. W rain, wind, snow. More than we've ever, ever, ever had. And we were waiting. Oh, waiting, waiting, waiting. And um, just a few days ago, the weather changed. <laughs> <laughs> There were no flowers. They just bloomed today, yesterday. This is, there was no heat. It was freezing cold. Um, the earth, the trees, the flowers are always found in our life. And uh, so in that sense, you are making it more and more like in Dublin. We feel so much separation when you're not here. And when you're here, we come to life. And, then, and we worry about when you're gone again. <laughs> Western countries or Eastern countries. I go to preach. Everywhere. Everything reminding me Swami. That how he was merciful. That even coming in the villages in the midst of mountains. So, every paradise is mind. And 
and this gives me so much energy. So I never feel like that I am becoming old, <coughs> forgetting actually everything that I am. So this energy coming from my group and Prime, Swamiji, Mahaprabhu. From tomorrow, you will begin our classes. Up to now, up to now, we have told so many rules, regulations, bhakti tattva vivek, and Srimad Bhagavatam everywhere. Chaitanya Chaitamrita also, so many places. But here I want to discuss about, to explain about tenth kind, especially the glories of Vrindavan Bhashi, our highest, toughest object of our life. Here also I want that only one or two peacocks are here. More peacocks should be there. <laughs> like Gitana uh, Not so much, but yes. <laughs> beautiful cows. At least one tree of Kadamba and one tree of Samad. Oh. Oh. <laughs> remember new present. Because Govardhan is established here. So everything should be here to remind Braja. And I also request all uh, those who are living here in Braja. There should be like Brajavash, actually. All children should be like Dham, Shidham, Sudham, Vasudham, Stokra, Shidham. All the girls should follow. Dalite Vishake, Chitri, Champakurata, and Dule Kiram, they will like this. Also, I want that they should follow Prajbashi life. In Prajan, never anyone has changed their wives or their husbands. I have not read up till now that any Prajbashi has changed any his wife or any his husband. Never. I also want this. Also I want that Brajavashi, those were married, but not so much attached to their wives and husband, children. All were attached where? Krishna. Krishna. And Srimati Radhika. Nanda Baba Jasoda so much attached to Krishna, no? But Vishwan Maharaj and Kirtika were so much attached to, they were also attached to Krishna also, but attached more to Radhika. That is why Vishwan Maharaj is called Vishwanu and she is called Vishwanuni Nandini. Vishubhanu Dulari, Lali of Vishubhan, Lal, Lali of Vishubhan, like this. And that is why Vishubhanu Maharaj is more, 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 more higher than Nandava. Nandava is only nine lakhs of crores. And Vishubhanu Maharaj. <laughs> and the son of Vishwan Maharaj Sridham used always defeat Krishna. And, and Krishna used to become be defeated by him. And also, I think that he was more defeated by him. anyone there was. More defeated. By who? By beauty, 
by quality, by sweetness, by softness, by fragrance, by all quality. Hmm? That Krishna can take all the hearts and quickly can store still. Hmm? But uh, Srimati Radhika, not to still, but Krishna, when we will see a glimpse of Srimati Radhika, even he will automatically he will come in the pocket of Srimati Radhika. <laughs> and he will be so happy to be there. So I want that here in New Brazil also. Devotees would be like Brajavashi. Helping each other. But not giving up their wives and husbands. And that's a very good discord here. That all the little children should be qualified in Krishna consciousness. I have seen some defects in now, it is in Gurukul. The boys who are reading in, were reading. Almost all, about 90%, they become boys. When they left Iskon, Gurukul, they left also devotion and thought they had a little strong house. Now they are taking waves, wine, giving up all the etiquettes, not falling, and serving their father, mothers, guru, Vaishnava. So I want, I don't want like this. I want that. Also be very strong. Uh, we don't want to follow. Swamiji or Krishna or Mahaprabhu, outwardly one, inwardly I want. And if we are trying so much to follow him inwardly, then outwardly automatically will come. So try to follow inwardly. We are not, we are not going to make any big, big plans of lakhs and crores dollars. We should try to develop our Krishna consciousness. That will be the true service of Swami, true service to Krishna and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So, from tomorrow, we will begin our classes. In morning, in two days, I will try to explain Raghunath uh, Das Goswami Manasitya. These are very useful. I have told about uh, uh, instructions of Raghunath Das Goswami, Upadesh I will tell in morning class this. And after it may be that in two times Dasamish comes. As like, I will try to explain how in what mode Prajbasu is used to serve Krishna and Shri. I think that if by my classes, by preaching, the senior devotees, the disciples of Sami are developing their honor right to Swamiji. And if by my crosses, devotees, have some greed to serve Radha and Krishna in Braja, then I will understand that my preaching is successful. Otherwise not. I've only come to greet these things. So try to take it, all of, try to honor all devotees, even they are 
more low in devotion. But you will have to give some uh, respect. And those who are lower, they must give, or not with their sin. Not offending them, no duplicity, nothing. Very fine. What you are inner, you should be outward. Always going on, strongly chanting. <coughs> and if there is sharnagati to you, in you, <coughs> Nothing to worry about your maintenance of life. Nothing. Automatic. Christian life. From tomorrow we are classes will begin. Today I will have to take full rest. If I speak more, then some
But there's no heat. No heat. Okay. And uh, last year and I, I have from last year. Okay. Yeah. But if you want to eat, that's all I think. They fish will come. I do guys will come. Okay. Apples are okay. Apples are okay. Apples are okay. In last year, I saw the big yes, but no, no, sorry. Yeah, there was more, very late this year, very late because of so much winter. Winter has just left a few days ago. <laughs> you are happy? No problem? Very. Winter heard that Maharaj was coming, <laughs> and winter went away. No school, no class? Class was already was has been finished. Yes. Oh, kitchen room so we made larger kitchen room, you know. And the anger day this will fall yeah can fold down. You are okay? Yes. Feeling 
well, happy? Yes, very happy. <laughs> Make our whole lives very happy. <laughs> How are you? Happy. <laughs> As always. <laughs> yes. Yes, because the wind, if, if if both sides are open, wind comes through, close that side and that side, and it stops the wind. And then I have one heater for you. No one knows that, but I think so. Very decorated. Yes. Daughters have sewn, and and friends have sewn so many. Uh, flags, very nice flags. And that oh. one bird is sitting there. Look. That bird keeps other little birds out of here because all the little birds want to build nests everywhere. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you put him here what and you move him oh, and no. they are scared. <laughs> they think, they, they think a, a owl is here. Oh. They think like so. Yeah. They fear and yeah, they fear and do not. otherwise it is so <laughs> mess. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we uh, made more room. room. And now we have a new stove. And pots from India. <laughs> and I brought pots from India. <laughs> Pots? And, and we brought pots from West to India. Yes. <laughs> That's big, big pots? Yeah, yeah. Pots. You know, Hera Jeweler, Hera Jeweler, right across the street, has all those pots I got from there. No, in Vrindavan. And, and he, went, he had to order from Bombay because, because so large, stainless steel, it had to be special order. We have also given a special order and we have brought from Bombay. Yeah, 120 More liter. More bigger, both or? Yeah, yeah, there's two of them, 120 mm -hmm. liter mm -hmm. and 100 mm -hmm. liter. Uh, or is there's one. More, two. more, more bigger. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Rani Thakur, what are you doing? <laughs> What's that? I tried to cook the best kitchen of the tour. The best. I want to make it temporary in Mathura on the road. We have not so much space in the road. Sometimes I want to make it. Can we make the Mathura there on the roof? But there is not so much space. Yeah. No, no. And yeah. oh. so many devotees will go there. Come in. 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 That is a small. 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 We will find some new place. I want to go. I want to go over there. <laughs> you just have to go down? Mm, yes, best. Then we have to go here. What do you like to do? Black? Give it to Kundri. Kundri gave it to me. Go. Go, go, give it. No problem. Laughing, joking, and. Yes, this, yes. Someone can open gate there, so Now they will come? No, here. Yes. Yes. Yes.
mountain lions, but they don't come here very much. There is one type of uh, small one called a, a small cat, and he is maybe this big, you know? Wild cat. Wild cat, yes. This one, mountain lion? No, that's a big one, and he lives here too, but not very more. more of, there are a lot of the small ones. and Too much deer and bear. Yes, more deer and, and few bears sometimes. In the fall time, some bears come down because they are hungry. And they will eat, there's berries, and they will eat berries, and sometimes they come into people's garages to get dog food and things. He has heard you are coming. Is that the footprints of horses or bullocks? Yes, horses and cows also. Do you have cows also? Yes. Cows? Yes. cows also, yes. They're grazing here on this land. Yeah. The cows are out here, back here. How many cows? Two. <laughs> you have three, I thought. Oh, one Remember, has passed away. Yes, one, one, just left to, her, uh, one cow left her body last month. What about peacocks? Peacocks are walking here and there. How many? Two. The, 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 the baby peacocks, when we were in San Francisco, we came back. The eggs were broken open and no babies. Oh. No, no babies. No babies. It must have been some, something. Something. The nest. We went to the nest and the there were open. Here is his uh, nice little cart. This is for you, Gurdjieff. This is your chariot. <laughs> I take you for a ride in the chariot. I want to make a chariot in Matura. Oh, oh. Car festival. Car ah. festival. Jagana. But anyone could can put it. Oh, very easy, you have can. Beautiful. So beautiful. It is. If it was India, can you send it to India? <laughs> Each of us will bring something. <laughs> we'll bring two horses and yes. one. Three. One more horse here. We'll send it with the magnet bed. <laughs> oh, can you make that? Car? Oh. You have made or you have This has been purchased. 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 From uh, this, actually, this is made by the Amish people. Have you ever heard of Amish? Yes. Dutch people. Philadelphia. They, the people, they never go in any automobile. They only ride with the horse. They make this back there. And this we can put the horse in here. One horse. Carry. One horse, but we also have a tree, a different arrangement. Dif excuse me, Gobi. Different. We can hook two horses. Oh. Two horses. More one or two. One horsepower yeah. or two horsepower. Yeah. <laughs> How you use? We take the, this horse here. We can hook this horse up and, and give you a ride. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just for you, Gurdjieff. Um, we're making another seat for the back. Uh, now, some people ride in the back here. Pick up. Like
ये देखो अभी घोड़े पे चढ़ी हुई थी This is done in Jaya. Done in Jaya. And this is beam. Beam. Huh? Beam. Beam. Strong. <laughs> Anyone can ride. Yes. Even she can ride. Go on. Go on. I agree with Beam. Stand. Go. On, right. Go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right. Yo. <laughs> uh, you can ride. Hop on. Uh, you can gallop yes. for Guru Dave. Uh, yes. How Go. how will you can quickly ride? <laughs> Has to, has some space. <laughs> <laughs> she says have some space for running. <laughs> this is for She'll come and give her space. Give her space, see what comes. She, she, yeah. she needs his space. She needs his space. Also come here, then horse will come. You will come? Yeah, see what comes running. Yes. Yeah. 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 Everybody come over this Come way. here, this side, please. Yes. Yeah, you go down to the end and then you can run fast. <laughs> Careful. Get out of the way. Everybody here, please just stand back this way. One more time, one, one more time. time. Come on. Okay. He knows. That horse is rugged. He's got parking. Gobi, come on this way. Where's, where's uh, Raga? One more time. Raga. Faster, faster. 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 Jody? Please move aside. When they are doing like hey, 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 then you will have to do like this. <laughs> Very good. They get it out. And after writing, the Savar Kiki will the rider, rider will come down and Message. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> become so happy. Where is that horse? I'll get on the other one. Jai Giriraj Dharanaki. Jai! Girls. Shri Kurvinda Guru Hinata Madana Moha
tomatoes. It's just coming now because weather is not so good, but soon there'll be big and nice flowers and fruits for clover dog. that color is like orange? This is flower. No. This? Yellow. Leaves are leaves are yellow. Yes, they're just, this is from first planting. The new leaves are going to be nice and green. This, the weather has been so cold, uh, cold here. And now it's getting warm. And have you put any fertile here? Yes. Are cow dung? It is grown in your garden. Garden. So much hard. Oh. So <laughs> This is all uh, berries, blackberries. Just babies now. They'll get so big. And they will be black. Yes. Very black. black. Very good. Yeah. You are like one baby. One baby, you know? The baby got some in forest, like Brenda baby. Making all arrangements, supporting all three creepers, birds, animals, everything. <laughs> Let's get um, Atma. Oh, there's Mujara. What name? Mujara? Yes, he wrote me one letter. And I, I told you in one letter we have peacocks, and you wrote back, now everything is auspicious. There are Mujaras in Mubraj. If you will. Mujara? Mayura. Mayura. M-A-Y-U-R-A. Mayura. Ethel. Madanga. I have Kartal. Mardanga, then they will do it. Kartal. Mardanga. You have Mardanga? Yes. Spring, spring. Oh, yes? Then they dance? Really? And when? They is cloudy. Yeah. Do they crow when, when it's about Oh, rain? yes. Yes, they crow so much. <laughs> I should go and do a pranam there. What can we do? You are okay? We're going to get Kalindi. We don't go in there. We don't go in there. We don't go Jai Dushanathan Bhattu Raghunath Sri Jeeva Gopal Bhattu Das Leunath Sarag Sain Prabhu Ki Jai 
गंगा जमुना तुलसी भक्ति बिना देवी की जय सर्वाग्रुति गिरिराज गोवर्धन की जय भक्त बिना बिना कंगन सिंह देव की जय भक्त राय प्रहलाद महाराज की जय न्यू ब्रज वासी भक्त वृंद की जय समवेद गौर भक्त वृंद की जय गौर प्रेमानंद No, this back this way here, thank you. Anywhere you took us last year, you want to go over the top, that is some hill now. To take trees? No, not, not, no, no way. There, it is open that way. There is one pathway over the top. Yes. But I don't know if it's not so much uphill, more downhill. Right? Yeah. I can try. We can bring him this way. Oh, there is a pathway up over the top. We should walk. If you like. 
and then we will see Kalindi. Yeah, the little calf. Huh. They are bringing. Oh, they're bringing Kalindi. Uh, baby calf. Good evening. You have a calf? Baby. Oh, where are we? We're going home. Home. Oh. All daughters. Sisters. <laughs> I wanted that at least four to four, five, three. Okay. And the, uh, one, at least one or two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can get seeds and yeah. start them. Yeah. 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 We should get some seeds and start them. We are by not so much. Yes. Not far away. You are taken care of special. About ten feet. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you can bring plant from India? Yes, I'm thinking they will in winter time when there is snow they will live. Okay. Do they lose their leaves in winter? Yes. Left, left hand. This here, angur, angur, grapes, angur. So many. Oh, babies now, just starting to grow now. Not, not like cloud. Oh, we have this kind. Yes, we have this kind. We have the black. No, left side, left side. Has to, has to cloud. so many more chances for having babies. I think we walk this way. Oh, look, look. A woodpecker. That is one of those woodpeckers. Oh, that is the problem. Yeah. They kill all the trees. Sometimes we have hundreds of them. But they are so cute. Yes. Here the grass is strong. Yes, this is wild grass. This is wild grass. That is planted grass. Only in dry use. Not in. Yeah. Here they, they like always. Yeah, especially young green, tender fruit trees. They like best. I think we go this way and then it's easy. 
I don't know what they are, you know. Or blackbirds, they're very prominent in Kali Yuga. And I got it. It's a Kali Yuga. Tomorrow, we'll take ride in a buggy. Good and myself and Andrew Gruna for both. Sometimes we shoot the bow. We have bows and arrows. <laughs> yes. I have some. No, no, just for practice. You know, like arch, like like um, like with target. You know, and just shooting it at for bullseye. Practicing. We are very competitive. You know. <laughs> we like to compete. <laughs> Yeah, who's winning? Sometimes me, but mostly him. Who's cow? He's cow still is stronger. This? <laughs> who's cow is this? This is our cow. What is Kalindi? Kalindi, we'll, they have her in the gate there. We will see her in a minute. This is an auntie. Mother is over here saying, I want to be milked. <laughs> she is ready to milk. Liters about 16, about 18 liters a day. Yeah, yes, a big cow, you know. She gives about 17 liters a day, 17 kilos. Yes. 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 I don't like coffee. It is true. Some, some, something smelling. Yes. Also. They mix things in, and here in America, they mix in things mm. into the no, milk. No, you like the organic milk. Oh. 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 But, but it's still not the same. Mm. This is best. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, Lindsay, baby. Lindsay. 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 Give it, make you give. Bend your head down and she'll kiss. Come on, Lindsay. Oh, Lindsay. 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 <laughs> he can drag you three, four girls, no? Very beautiful, very beautiful. Haripo! Haripo!